Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Science has taught us so much about the world and has led to so many technological innovations that when you step back and consider it all, it's sort of mind-blowing. But science has its limits too. For every answer it gives us, there's a problem that leaves scientists dumped. Number 10. Monarch Butterfly Migration While animal migration in general remains mysterious, the migration pattern of the monarch butterfly is particularly noteworthy. The study of the migrations of this strikingly coloured orange and black creature has led to remarkable theories and a few puzzling questions. The bulk of monarchs residing east of the Rocky Mountains fly to a specific region in the mountains of central Mexico. Somewhere between 100 million to 150 million butterflies travel this route each fall. The monarchs remain at these overwintering sites until the following spring when they return north. The timing of this annual migration is theorized to be linked to changes in the amount of daylight that begin to occur at this time of year. The variability of day and night temperatures that take place in late August and September probably also help trigger the migrations to Mexico. Why they like this part of Mexico is apparent. The forested locations in the mountains provide an ideal climate for overwintering. The big mystery in this process is, how do monarchs find the same site each year? The lifespan of a monarch butterfly is only six months, which means that each new generation of butterflies migrates without an older generation to lead the way. How do they end up at the same locations year after year? One theory is that monarchs use the Earth's magnetic field to guide them to this specific area. Another theory is that they're guided by the polarization of the sun's rays. Scientists have come up with so many theories, but the mystery still remains. Number 9. The Keystone Heights Turtles Florida is a land of beaches and sunshine, the California of the East Coast, basically. Other than the scenic wonders, it also has snakes, alligators and turtles. One of those things is not like the others. One of them is not the same, and one of those things has had researchers and people baffled to their wit's end, especially at Keystone Heights. In 2012, residents of the Heights noticed that a few dozen turtles all seemed to have died in a bizarre lineup, and no one could ever find out why. The only thing they ever found was that it was not a traumatic death that caused it, meaning that no one poisoned them or used physical force against them. Were they all part of a turtle death cult that decided they must all die at that spot to go to turtle heaven, or what? Number 8. Rogue Wave Rogue, freak or killer waves have been part of marine folklore for centuries, but have only been accepted as a real phenomenon by scientists over the past few decades. Ten-story high, near-vertical walls of frothing water, smashed portholes and flooded cabins on the upper decks, 30-meter behemoths that rise up from nowhere to throw ships about like corks, only to slip back beneath the depths moments later. Rogues, called extreme storm waves by scientists, are those waves which are greater than twice the size of surrounding waves. They're very unpredictable and often come unexpectedly from directions other than prevailing wind and waves. Since these waves are uncommon, measurements and analysis of this phenomenon is extremely rare. Rogue waves have been implicated in the disappearance of numerous ships, including the SS Waratah, Australia's Titanic, which vanished en route to Cape Town in 1909, and the SS Edmund Fitzgerald, which sank in Lake Superior in 1975. Number 7. Synchronous Fireflies Every summer, outside the tiny Mexican town of Nanacamilpa, a unique type of firefly puts on one of nature's most incredible light shows. These insects are one of the dozen or so species of firefly that signal in a synchronized fashion, the males take into the air to woo females, flash a sparkling yellow that undulates like waves through the dark forest. Originally, it was thought that fireflies use light flashes to warn other members of the presence of predators and other dangers, but it's now known that fireflies glow to communicate with mates during courtship. For most fireflies, it's all chaotic with each male flashing on and off at different times, each one trying his best to impress. With synchronous fireflies such as Photinus carolinus, the courtship ritual is more organized. Researchers believe that the fireflies synchronize their flashing to enable the females to clearly spot the male's patterns. It also enables the males to search for females who use the synchronized dark period between flashes to respond. It's like being in a giant stadium, explains Mark Branham, a biologist at the University of Florida. 
If everybody is yelling the exact same sentence randomly, it doesn't make any sense. But if everyone synchronizes, you can tell who's closer and who's farther away. The mechanics of the synchronization is, however, still a mystery. A hundred years ago, scientists didn't even believe synchronizing flashes were possible. Number 6. Songs from the Deep One of the most enchanting mysteries about humpback whales is their songs. Only the males are known to sing, although both males and females sound certain social calls while they're feeding, and calves make other calls when they're near their mothers. The humpback's haunting songs are among the most complex animal vocalizations. Intriguingly, humpbacks in different populations sing entirely different songs from those elsewhere in the world, and the songs evolve. Each year, a few whales in a breeding area add new elements to a song that other males then adopt. What's surprising is that versions of the same songs can be heard thousands of miles apart, according to a team led by Melinda Rechdal, a marine conservation scientist for the Wildlife Conservation Society's Ocean Giants program. However, the exact function of the song is still debated among scientists and remains unknown. Number 5. Ice Tsunami Beachfront property makes for some pretty damn amazing views, whether it's in the summer as the waves crash in or in the winter when everything is iced over. Except, of course, when the ice crawls up out of the water and goes on a murderous rampage against your house and family. OK, maybe the ice isn't actively seeking destruction and mayhem when it comes on land in a phenomenon known as the ice shove or ice tsunami. That's what happened in Fort Erie, Canada, when hefty chunks of ice climbed partway up lampposts and tree trunks. It happens when there's a perfect storm of factors, including fierce winds, loose ice, and gently sloping shores, according to the European Geosciences Union. Number 4. Whale Suicides The short-finned pilot whale is a large species of dolphin with a dark grey body and a bulbous head. It's an intensely social animal, and it spends its life in the company of others. And that, sadly, is also how it sometimes dies. In March 2018, around 150 short-thinned pilot whales stranded themselves at Hamlin Bay, a site on Australia's western coast, around 200 miles south of Perth. Trained staff and volunteers had hauled six survivors back into the sea, but their fate is still uncertain. Rescued whales often restrand themselves, and nightfall will make their movements harder to track. Western Australia is no stranger to mass whale strandings. Nine years ago to the day, 80 long-finned pilot whales, a close related species, stranded themselves in the very same spot. Three years ago, again almost to the day, around 20 long-finned pilot whales washed up at Bunbury, about 70 miles to the north and those incidents pale in comparison to the largest mass stranding ever documented in the region. This isn't a uniquely Australian problem. New Zealand's Farewell Spit is a notorious whale trap where pilot whales regularly strand. Up to 650 long-finned pilot whales beached there last February, of which 400 or so were saved. Cape Cod is another hotspot and sees an average of 226 stranded whales and dolphins every year. Given this long history, it's unclear if these events have become any more frequent of late, or if they're simply easier to spot in an interconnected world. Still, there is something deeply unsettling about mass strandings. Cetaceans, a group that includes whales and dolphins, are highly intelligent and beautifully adapted to life in the water. Why would they leave the aquatic world to risk death? And why do so many of them do so at the same time? No one really knows. There's a multitude of hypotheses and few firm answers. Number 3. Ball lightning As far as mysteries of nature go, ball lightning is one of the more perplexing. It seems there are as many potential explanations as there are sightings, but in spite of decades of intense interest, none stand out as a clear winner. For centuries, people have recorded accounts of grapefruit-sized orbs of light moving slowly a short distance above the ground, often in the middle of an electrical storm, persisting for maybe 10 seconds or so before silently winking out of existence. At least one study has theorized that about half of all ball lightning sightings are hallucinations caused by the magnetic fields during storms. That said, scientists seem to agree ball lightning is real, even if they don't yet fully understand what causes it. Number 2. Sailing Stones Death Valley National Park is a strange place by any standard. Famously known for being the hottest place on Earth, 
Death Valley also sits at the driest and lowest elevation in North America. Its strangest feature of all is the mysterious racetrack playa. Here, rocks drift across the flat desert landscape, seemingly propelled by no power other than their own. Known as sailing stones, the rocks vary in size from a few ounces to hundreds of pounds. Though no one has ever seen them actually move in person, the trails left behind the stones and periodic changes in their location make it clear that they do. Scientists have tried to solve the puzzle of the sailing stones for decades. Some researchers thought that dust devils might move the rocks, some of which weigh as much as 700 pounds or 318 kilograms. Other researchers believe the strong winds that frequently whip across the vast lake bed could cause the rocks to slide across the ground. These and other theories were eventually disproved, leaving scientists without an explanation. In some cases, the rocks' trails were measured to be as long as 820 feet or 250 meters. Some of the trails formed a graceful curve, while other trails created a straight line, then an abrupt shift to the left or right, which further baffled researchers. Number 1. Ice Discs Residents at a country in northern China have been stunned to see what they call a mysterious ice disc spinning non-stop in a pond. A piece of circular ice formed by a natural phenomenon had a diameter of about 20 feet and was big enough to hold three cars, the locals told reporters. One woman said the perfectly round slab started small and kept growing in size as it floated and rotated in a reservoir. Ice circles have been spotted in many sub-zero regions from the United States to Russia. In January 2018, a rotating ice circle appeared in Lao He River, also in Faku country, and the unusual occurrence attracted swarms of tourists. Such an incredible wintry sight is caused by a rare natural phenomenon. Ice discs come into being due to the fact that warm water is less dense than cold water, and therefore when ice melts and sinks, the motion creates a vortex underneath the chunk causing it to turn, according to National Geographic, citing a 2016 study. It remains unclear why the latest disc in China has been expanding. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.